Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, the fly we're going to tie today is a gray hackle peacock. I'm going to start out with some olive thread. Um, we're tying this on a size 14, um, 1560 Daiichi wet fly hook. Just going to start the thread on there. Wrap it on like you always do. Now this fly is made to imitate the granum hatch here in central Pennsylvania where I'm from, not too far from uh, little Juniata or little J. We have a great granum hatch every spring. Um, next thing I'm going to put on, this is a piece of green yarn, just a regular old yarn from your craft shop. Okay, Yarn usually comes in like three or four strand pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate, separate the yarn. You can see it pulling apart. It comes apart in four strands in this. I'm just going to take one of them. I'm going to tie, tie one of these strands down. Now this, this green is going to represent an egg sac on the back of the fly. Sometimes the fish, you'll find when you're fishing this pattern, sometimes they'll want the egg, sometimes they don't want the egg. But it's always good to have it. So if you're not, tie this pattern, some with eggs and some without. And then you'll be safe. Just fish them both. Uh, wet flies, you can fish a couple on the line at the same time. So, you know, try both of them. See which one they seem to be taking. All we're going to do is make about three wraps with this. Just enough to put a nice little bump back here at the end. And make that green visible. Um, this egg sack here, when... In my other videos, you, you're, you've heard me talking about the, the guy that got us started in fishing with wet flies, Jack Igo. He swears by this egg sack. you got to have it on there. So we're going to tie it on there. Just tie it down. Be careful when you take this down to, take this down to one thread, you know, it, it can break pretty easy. So... Just be gentle with it when you're tying it on and trim it off. Now the next thing we're going to do is called Gray Hackle Peacock for a reason. We're going to tie in our peacock. We're going to tie in three strands of peacock curl. Okay, we're going to tie it in from the butt end. Put it on. Wrap it back to the egg. Okay. Then with Peacock, if you remember me tying the Prince Nymph on the Prince Nymph video, the way I do it is I take my line, take my string, and I'll take and wrap the Peacock curl around it, which strengthens the Peacock curl. Otherwise, your Peacock curl could break. You get a fish. This stuff's pretty brittle. Um, it could break and unravel on your fly while you're fishing it. This tends to strengthen it up a lot more. Okay, now we're just going to wrap this on. Don't cover up that egg too much. And you don't want your egg to be too big either. You don't want your egg to overpower your fly. So wrap this up here to the front. And we're going to have to unwrap a little to tie it off. This is another very simple fly here. Here we go. Got it. Now it's time to tie it off. Um, wet flies are very simple. If you're just getting into to fly fishing and fly tying, what some a lot of wet fly patterns are very simple to tie. Uh, very cheap on material in a lot of cases too, and uh, very simple to fish too. Once you learn how, it's very simple. Just to you know, make sure you have your your drift right and uh, teaches you a lot. It's a good way to start out in fly fishing. Next thing we're going to put on is a piece of um, hen hackle. This is whiting um, wet fly hackle, natural, or I'm sorry, medium done color. We're just going to take and peel this to get the get it back here to the, the right. The key to picking hackle, the right size hackle, is you want your hackle the from the from the middle to the, to the tip of the hackle feather there to be the same distance as the hook gap. So we're going to peel this back here a little bit to try to get it at the right length, which is about right there. I'm going to trim it off so we can tie it in. Okay, now we're just going to lay this up on top. And 
tie it down on here. Okay, now we're going to come in with our hackle pliers. And we're just going to make oh, just a just a couple wraps. I don't want this real thick. Just about 3 wraps should do this. And pull the pull the fibers back out of your way while you're wrapping so they don't wrap each other down. And we're gonna tie this off after we get our three wraps on there. Oops. Okay, then we're gonna come in and cut our hackle off. Okay, now this is a wet fly, so we want our hackle not to stand up like a dry fly. We want it to lay back like a wet fly. So we're going to take them. We're going to take our fingers and pull it back on the hook just a little, just enough to lay them down over your fly like that. And we're going to wrap it off, and we're going to come in and whip finish it, and we're done. Like I said, this is another very simple fly to tie. Uh, incorporates a lot of beginner steps. If you've seen in my other videos on my beginner series, it incorporates a lot of those steps and uh, very simple to tie and very effective here in the spring, especially on the little J if you fish that. And that's all that's to it. Like I said, you want to have a couple of these with the egg on the back and a couple without in your box whenever you hit into the granum hatch. Uh, elk haired caddis is the wet fly or the dry fly you would use to fish this pattern um, if they're taking them on top. I'll show you another pattern here coming up in the future with uh, like a tent wing caddis, how to tie it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, remember the material you've seen in these videos you can buy at wholesingersflyshop.com. Don't forget to check us out and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.